was what was life like for you as a kid growing up? Wow. Okay. Um, so it has a lot to do with why I'm why I do real estate. But um, so growing up, I lived in got a government housing, like like just not the greatest place. Um, and watching my my mom kind of, she's a single mom. Um, she always wanted to buy a house, and she always was like trying and she never could figure it out right so that was kind of my whole thing but i had this like weird fascination with houses like vacant houses <laughs> like just in general so i would ask her um to drive me downtown and go in these and show me houses so we would drive down and, and look at vacant houses and sometimes she'd let me get out and i would literally like break in the house and go walk around these <laughs> like at eight years old you know so that that had a lot to do with um I don't I, I feel like my love of, of real estate and house, I feel like it's in me, but that, that was kind yeah. of, yeah, it was, it was fun. I mean, my life is <laughs> are, it was just different. Yeah. Are you from Columbus then? I am. Yep. From the North side. Okay. Of Columbus. Yep. I've been here forever. <laughs> okay. And what, um, growing up as far as, you know, going into high school years and, and things like that, any hobbies, anything, you know, as far as outside of, you know, maybe touring vacant homes. Um, <laughs> did you have any hobbies or anything like that interest that you had growing up? Um, yeah, I was really artsy and I was, you know, going to go to art school and that kind of stuff. But um, actually I got pregnant in high school. So that was my hobby. <laughs> like not, not getting pregnant, but having the baby. <laughs> you know, I had, yeah. uh, I had him, Christian, my oldest son now. Um, I had him in high school. And so that was all I could do. I mean, it took up all of my time. So I uh, skipped my senior year in high school to um, hurry up and get my, because I was like, I'm graduating. I'm not going to, you know, not have my my uh, diploma. So I skipped right. senior year, um, started working in real estate right away. Um, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so you decided just right out of high school that you're ju just jumping into the business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we do, you know, you go through like career planning in high school and stuff and they're like, okay, well, you go, uh, um, mentor under two different people and figure out what you want to do. So I went to like a hair salon. Um, and then I hated it. It was like, awful. I, was like, I don't, I couldn't be here talking to these people all day and doing people's hair. Like I didn't have enough, I have ADD. So I didn't have a attention span to do that. And I was like, I want to be around my son. I want to like, I want to do things my way. And I was like, why would you even bother you? Like you're obsessed with houses. Like just, look into it. So I did, I started looking into it and, um, there was an ad actually, cause I, I took three weeks of summer school so that I could get my diploma early. And there was an ad at the high school that they were looking for, um, just a secretary to help out over the summer in this real estate office. So I was like, it's like a sign from God, <laughs> like to, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So yeah, went, got hired that, and what I'm doing. That's so, that's so cool. Um, now I want to go back because was there something growing up that really had like, what was it maybe the, the struggle for your mom to that want to find houses that really kind of intrigued you or, you know, yeah. was there someone in your family that was like an investor already or, or you no. just kind of picked up? No, she, um, so she was like, my mom was, a, she's a hustler. She always was trying to figure out a way to make things happen. And, you know, she had like the Tony Robbins things, but she would get so busy. She'd have like half of it there and then she'd put it down. I'd pick it up and I'd listen to the whole thing and do all of the the stuff that's in it. And um, Zig Ziglar and you know just all of the, the old trainers. Right. So yeah, that's what I read growing up. She would be busy working, uh, gone, and I would be at home reading these sales books at 12, you know, um, but watching her, we would go with agents like real estate agents, or, you know, we would look through houses and she never could figure out like the credit or how to do it. Um, you know, and then people would, she would say, well, I don't, I don't want to be in this area or I need a house that this, this way for my, for my daughter, I need to be in this school district. And she would get so many no's and, and the way that she was talked to a lot would frustrate me. And so I was like, I want to figure out a way to, to help people like yeah, help them figure that out. 
she um, actually got in contract on a property. We were going to buy it. It was like $13,000. It was like this piece of crap. It was like not anything, but she was like, it's in the school district. It's tiny. It's like, it's not what we want, but it'll work. Yeah. Um, ended up having an easement on it that should have been disclosed and found up front, but the agent did not um, do his due mm. diligence with the title company. Um, and well, that's what he told her. At the end of the day, he was the one who ended up buying the property and mm. we lost it. So so the, those frustrations, watching her, her get told no and not know how to make this thing that she wanted to, so bad to happen, I was like, I got to figure this out. I, I got to figure yeah. it out, help people. I've got, you know, it can be done. There's, it should not be this hard. So Yeah. Yes. No, I, I, you know, it's just, it's fascinating that um, I think you're the first one on here that straight out of high school, yeah. you know, that, that made that decision to get into real estate. And, uh, you know, usually it's, you know, I find that someone along the way had some sort of real estate ties, you know, or, or something. Um, but, you know, it's just fascinating that you kind of knew from a very early, early age that this was the industry for you. Um,